up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley if you are new here and if you're not new here I'm really sorry I haven't made a video in a, about a year so this is I don't know if it's rude to just disappear for a while and then come back like nothing happened but here we go I'm gonna give you a basic summary on wool covers I have here a soaker or Sometimes it's called cover. And then a pair of pants, also called longies. I made these both out of sweaters. Lamb's wool and merino with some cashmere. In case you're wondering what I, what the tags on the sweaters said. Upcycling, if you can use a sewing machine, is a really good way to get wool for next to nothing. I paid pennies for these two sweaters. Well, three sweaters, I guess. But you can also just cut them in a way where they can be tied around your baby. I don't have an example of that, but it's an option if you don't sew and have a very almost non-existent budget. Um, if you have more money to spend, this is Interlock, and it's actually my favorite. These are no-fluff shorts with cuffs. Um, if you can afford Interlock, and actually how I afforded it was selling things that I found for free. I sold things on Facebook to, afford, to pay for Interlock. And if you can do that, totally worth it. The This will um, be more water resistant in my experience. But an upcycled one does fairly well too. I put a double layer just for the added protection. Wool does need to be lanolized to be water resistant, which I have made a video in the past about lanolizing and washing wool, but I might do an updated one soon because when I made that first one, I had a baby that was not mobile, so it was pretty simple. And now the way I wash the wool is a little bit different and takes longer because it's almost always covered in dirt to the point of being a different color. Now, the basics of what you need to know about using wool. Use it like a cover. Like if you have a PUL cover that snaps around your baby and that's what you're using as a waterproofing, you would use this in place of that. And, not, and you don't need to do it in addition to, in place of. So like a fitted diaper, flat diapers, pre-folds, whatever you have that needs a, a water resistant layer over it, wool is great. It's breathable. It's temperature regulating, which means when it's hot, it'll be have a cooling effect where it will wick moisture away from your skin, from baby's skin, or yours if you have some your size. I have a pair of my size and they're nice. Um, and when it's cool, it will help your body stay warmer too. Sorry. Um, the lanolin is what call, what makes the water resistant properties. It's how it's how a sheep keeps the rain rolling off the wool. Um, lanolin is a natural oil excreted by a sheep, by the way. Um, and you do not need, and sheep are not killed to get the lanolin or the wool, just in case you, people, some people don't know that. Um, so this does not, a wool cover does not need to be washed every time it is used, unless it has poop on it, of course, or if it's really, it's really your kid goes and plays in the dirt with it like mine does so you put it on over the diaper when you go change your baby's diaper I like to have multiple that way you can um, turn it inside out similar to what you would do with a PUL cover I know this thread does not match um, and let it air dry for the next change and then when it's dry use it again and um, you can use it if you're using a couple in rotation, it'll last longer in between washes. Um, if your baby's not like peeing heavily, you can go longer in between washes too. Um, night diaper, night cover covers over night diapers. I found tend to be I had to wash sooner than daytime use. Um, the best way I've found to really keep an eye on it is smelling it is one option and um, how well it's performing. Now I will say that wool 
is only as good as the diaper you have under it. So you can't have a diaper that leaks a ton and expect wool to come in and save it. Wool will block a lot of that moisture from escaping and it will also absorb quite a bit too. Wool is absorbent. Um, I lost my train of thought, sorry. So first thing you need to do is make sure you have a good diaper underneath that works for your child. Now, if your diaper leaks a little bit, wool will help, but if it leaks a ton, urine will um, wear away at the lanolin. And so when you start getting leaks, when you haven't had the leaks previously, it's time to wash and lanolize. It's important to wash it thoroughly before you lanolize, otherwise dirt, um, some of the urine can get trapped inside the wool fibers underneath the lanolin, the lanolin will hold it in. So it is important to wash your wool very well. And um, typically it is hand washed. Uh, interlock can go in the washing machine, but I found with my machine personally, it doesn't do a good job washing wool because it's got, it's, it's more of a large capacity machine. So wool is almost always a small load for me and I have had better results hand washing than machine washing and hand washing will also prolong the life of your wool. So, um, and then after you have lanolized it, wa washed it, and then lanolized it, just air dry them. Is that about it? Wool is actually very simple. It, look, it seems really intimidating, but that's all you really got to do is stick it on your baby and let them go. Washing super simple too. Um, you can see the previous video I have on that. Lanoline seems pretty easy. I thought it was gonna be hard when I started. I really did. I was afraid to start, so I didn't start until a year and a half, like two years after I started cloth diapers when I got into wool, and I was blown away with how easy it was, and I was kind of kicking myself for not starting sooner. If you have any questions that I didn't cover, please leave it in the comments. I will do my best to answer them, and if there's somebody that I didn't do a very good job, I will just remake the video probably to answer the rest of the questions if there's a lot. This is kind of a last minute video and I didn't plan for it very well, obviously. So I really can't think of anything else to add. So if I'm forgetting anything, please let me know. And, and I hope you give wool a try and I hope you love it as much as I do. Bye.